What is up guys, Jack here from Executive Gaming HD and this is episode 20 of the Squad Builder series. This is part 2 of the uh, Asian and African hybrid team. If you missed part 1, you can find that in the Squad Builder playlist as episode 18. But this time I'm going to be using the 3-5-2 formation and uh, this team will cost you around 135,000 coins if you buy all of the players for as cheap as you possibly can. If you just rush out and buy all the players quickly, then it'll probably be closer to 150. Starting off in gold then, we have Kamenai, as he is the only decent Cameron goalkeeper. He will cost you around 400 coins, and he also comes with the goalkeeper up for corner straight. Moving up to the first centre back, we have Embia, and he will cost you around 900 coins. He has 76 pace, which is mainly sprint speed, as well as a big physical presence. He has high strength. Embia also has driven free kicks trait. Now moving over to the right centre back, we have Basong for roughly 33,000 coins. He has pretty similar stats as well, except he is silver, although you wouldn't really realise he is silver when using him online. Now moving over to the centre back that is on the left side, we have N Kalu, another great centre back with a fair bit of pace and strength for only 600 coins. He has high interceptions and overall is just a generally well balanced player. Now moving up to the first CDM we have N Guomo, who will cost you practically nothing at 300 coins and to be honest with you I chose him just as a chemistry filler but it turns out he's actually far exceeded my expectations and plays a vital role in his team at helping the defence out because he has high defensive work rates. Anyway now moving over to the left mid we have AU for 650 coins. AU was again one of the last players I chose for the team so he's just a chemistry filler to get 9 chemistry with all the players and uh, he's, he kind of surprised me. He has some great in-game stats, um, he's very well balanced, all his physical stats are green which means they are all above 75. He even has 92 jumping which is a bit of a random stat but you can use that to take um, advantage of your goal kicks, you can kick it towards him or you can obviously increase your chances of scoring from set pieces. Now moving over to the right CDM we have Kagawa for roughly 9000 coins, he has 4 star skills and weak foot as well as super high agility and balance making him great for shooting at difficult angles, although Kagawa's natural position is cam, he'll get you out of position quite a bit and that's why I have N Guemo to cover him for that, Kagawa also has the flare trait. Now moving over to the right mid we have another silver player called Mayachi and he, has eight, he costs you 18000 coins and he has 94 pace as well as 4 star skills and weak foot. He is one of the best silver players in my opinion and just purely because of his pace and skill moves. He also has the speed dribbler and flare traits. Now moving up to the cam we have Inform Honda for around 85,000 coins. He is an awesome player uh, with great long shots and ridiculous curve making his free kicks also very good. Oh I say very good, one of the best actually. He also has the playmaker and driven free kicks trait. Now moving up to the two strikers we have Traore and Dumbia. Dumbia has 91 pace, 4 star skills and weak foot as well as brilliant finishing abilities, whereas Traore kind of makes up for what Dumbia lacks, which is height and strength. Traore is 6 for 8, so wins a lot of headers, out muscles pretty much every defender going. Um, they both will cost you around 800 coins too. So that's been the team, I hope you enjoyed it. It's very fun to use online, and if you change the Inform Honda to a normal one, then you can almost cut this team's price in half, and still have a very unique hybrid. If you can remember to leave a like on this video, that would be epic. I still have some goals to show you with this team, but apart from that, that is me signing out. So, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, here we go. Freestyle Friday number nine. Now, before you jump the gun on anything, this is supposed to be like a house party type song like 2004, so sing along when you can. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me owe. Oh, oh, just let me owe. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me owe. Oh, oh, just let me owe. That clock Keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Fuck all that shit, just let me go Hours and tastemakers make us no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man and inhale the vapors Mad men, uh, old ten times vapors Cut the jukebox on, make the woofers blow low. We gon' sit here until all them heifers go Holler at the tens and spend a little dough Not on them, no can buy their own drinks Think that work week all five days in the bucket Fuck it, you got a boss who's a jerk Who doesn't or want some Wu-Tang Bring the motherfucking ruckus There is no pretext We are living and we love it on a budget Never mind, we just nudge it to the side Give the kids a little time We are living till we die Focused and we hustle But we still be getting high No exception to the rule Do what you do to get by Cause I keep sticking like a metronome
more like 84 to 87 or 86 or something like that. Anyway, Marquisio does come at a cost of 65,000 coins, but I think it's worth it for an informed card of his ability um, because he's still very, very overpowered. Now moving over to the next centre mid, we have Perlo for roughly 11,000 coins. He is the playmaker of this team and has spectacular passing stats, such as 94 short passing and 96 long passing.